A hot and humid day gave, weather, gave way to severe storms in our area. Trees toppled onto streets, cars, and homes, especially in areas north of New York City. CBS 2's Tony Aiello begins our team coverage live in Rockland County, where cleanup remains and the rainwater is still flowing tonight. Tony. Tonight, the Spark Hill Creek is running higher than normal, but a good eight feet below where it was this afternoon, swollen by rain, flooding the highway and punishing drivers who tempted fate. Four vehicles stuck in the flooding on Route 303. First responders rescuing drivers and passengers who ventured into rapidly rising water and couldn't escape. Yep. Orangeburg Fire okay. Chief Neil Linity says the Tuesday storm was wild. Absolutely wild. And damaging. The Morris family moved into this Isabel Road home just three months ago. Now, the foundation washed away by the torrential rain. Their house deemed dangerously unstable. Can the house be saved? I, to me, it looks like it's going to fall. It's going to collapse. I'm shocked. But at the same time, you can't cry over material things. You just have to deal with the consequences and move forward. The consequences in Orange County include this damage on Orange Street in Port Jervis. Wind brought down a massive tree right onto the car of college student Taylor Brace. Did you feel the house shake? Or? Yeah, I heard, well, it was the winds. I heard the winds first and then the big collapse. The wind was horrible. We were watching it whip through and the, it was the torrential rain. It was scary. Another frightening scene in the Orange County village of Chester. This tree splitting the rear of the Colazo home. Incredible damage, tempered by a measure of good luck. My two sons were in the house. Uh, luckily, they weren't in the bathroom or in the bedroom, or they would have been gone because they crushed the bedroom and it crushed the bathroom. Uh, incredible damage. So after the storm, there were scores of power outages in the northern suburbs. Tonight, ORU says crews have whittled the outages down to around 500. Live in Rockland County in the town of Orangeburg, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Okay, Tony, thank you.